We begin this hour with breaking news on the Pope's visit to Canada. It's now been confirmed after recent concerns about his health. Canada's Catholic bishops have confirmed Pope Francis will visit from July the 24th to the 29th. It comes after the 85-year-old rescheduled an upcoming trip to Africa to avoid interrupting therapy that he's undergoing for his knee. With more, I want to turn to our senior political correspondent for CTV News Channel, Mike LeCouture. Mike, the Vatican and releasing details of the trip looks like a busy agenda. Busy, but interesting to note in this, Marcia, and they made it very clear that all of his participation in events will be limited to one hour at a time. And I think that speaks to the point that you were just mentioning there in his health and his ongoing rehabilitation of his knee and how the pontiff, who is 85 years old, let's not forget that, um, still has considerable health issues, but is still committed to doing this. And I think one of the most interesting things about this is the fact that he will be visiting a residential school in Edmonton and it is the site of one of the largest residential schools in Edmonton. Uh, he's visiting the uh, Maskawasis, and it's the home of the former uh, Erminiskin Residential School. As I said, one of the largest there. Alberta is the home uh, to the largest number of former residential schools in Canada. Uh, and so that is why Alberta has been chosen, but specifically going to that residential school as well. So far, we don't know exactly where he will be making the apology. And that, of course, uh, part of this, uh, the, the central piece, really, of this visit, Marcia, the fact that he will be making the apology uh, to residential school survivors for the Catholic Church's role in that, running those schools uh, and inflicting uh, that generational trauma on uh, residential school survivors. Uh, he will be having a, a celebrating a mass at Commonwealth Stadium. That's the home of the, the current home of the CFL's uh, football team, the Elks. Uh, upwards of 65,000 people could be in attendance there. He's also be going to be going on to Quebec City where he'll be giving another public address. That could be where it is as well. He'll be finishing up in a Iqaluit. He'll be spending an afternoon there with residential school survivors before heading back to Rome on the 29th. Okay, um, the Pope's health, obviously a big concern. Can you tell us again, Mike, why there was even some doubt about whether or not he would be able to visit here? Yeah, and it is because of those problems with his knee. Apparently, he has advanced issues of ligament damage in his knee. And as you'd mentioned, cancelling that trip to Africa to continue his rehabilitation. And I think a lot of observers, uh, when you consider that that trip is supposed to be uh, at the beginning of July, he was supposed to go to South Sudan and, uh, and Congo. And so the question as to whether or not he would actually come to Canada really was hanging in the balance when we heard about that uh, cancellation or that postponement of that trip. Uh, but it seems like uh, the pontiff is extremely committed to making this apology on Canadian soil and making sure that he will be healthy enough to do this. But again, Marcia, as we sort of started off in talking about this, the fact that he's limiting his participation to one hour at a time in some of these events really speaks to the fact uh, of what he can and can't do because he's been using a wheelchair for the better part of the last month or so. Uh, and so it would be really interesting to see how he's going to survive even this, you know, this is a rigorous trip when you look at this. This is It is. It's Quebec busy City for an able-bodied young person. I mean, it's, it's jam-packed. You know, uh, exactly. And he'll be in demand, Marcia, right? This is the thing. People want to see him. People will want to have conversation with him. And it's not just these big events that he'll be celebrating, masses along the way. It's also meetings with Indigenous people. Uh, so clearly the Vatican is trying to manage the schedule uh, and per perhaps managing expectations as well, but making sure uh, that, as you said, you know, you or I making this trip, this would be, this would be something that would be uh, difficult as well. And, and, and imagine the, the energy that it takes to be giving these masses is giving a mass at Commonwealth Stadium. Uh, I can only imagine. So uh, obviously it's, you know, I think welcome news uh, for people who are looking forward to this visit, the fact that it is still going and we have now a more detailed itinerary. Uh, and, you know, I think a lot of people are crossing their fingers as we go forward uh, that there aren't any hiccups along the way that will postpone this one as well. Mike LeCouture, thanks so much.